hey guys welcome back um today i'm going to be bringing you guys a valentine's day look um i'm hoping to keep it very nice and simple but still like a little bit on the glam side you know because i know everybody want to look snatched so um i am going to be trying out some new products so yeah just letting you guys know um i don't know how some of these products work i've watched reviews on them but that's about it so yeah, I already moisturized my skin with the Cetaphil moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer. I am gonna be, I already used these concealers. Um, they're the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. It's supposedly a satin finish. Um, I feel like it is kind of true, but I don't know. It's not that satin. Okay, so I am gonna start off with that. I'm gonna flatten out my brush and I'm just gonna take a flat brush. It's just a flat brush like this. And then I flatten it out just using toilet paper. I feel like this just gives you like a really sharp um, eyebrow. And got my little mirror here. So I'm just going to clean up my brows. They are looking kind of thickish. Um, well, full. They are getting a little bit full, honestly. Um, but I honestly, I don't mind. Ooh, and then I also have this little thing I want to use, actually. My boyfriend had this thing in his car. Um, his friend does a lot of... Um, drawings and paintings i don't know what his name is or else i would say but he had this in his car it's like a school i don't know if you guys could see it but he he wasn't gonna use it for anything so i was like i told him if i could have it because i could put my foundation on here you know and it would be super cute and especially because it's pink i love pink okay so I know this is pretty light for my skin tone, but I like the way it looks. Um, I only put a little bit of this to clean up my brows for this, that reason. But now I'm going to take the new e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. And this is in the shade White. Um, this is going to be my first time using this. I've used the Putty Primer already, but not this. And honestly, oh, I'm not even sure if you're like if you can put um concealer on top of this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm just gonna take that concealer and then bring it down. Now I'm going to take my other concealer. So I'm going to be taking my other e.l.f. concealer. And this is the HD Lifting Concealer. Um, I feel like not many people know about this concealer. Because I never even heard any anybody talk about it. Um, when I got it, I just got it because it was like $3, I believe. It was like $3, yeah. And then um, I just tried it out. And the shade like matched my skin tone perfectly. And I just love the way it looked and everything. Okay. And then I'm going to take my little, um, what is it called? Juno & Co. Mini Blending Velvet Sponge. And I'm just going to blend those two concealers together okay so now that i'm done blending out those concealers you don't have to set your um eyeshadow or anything you could just put i mean you don't have to set your um concealer on your lids you could just um continue with the eyeshadow but i am gonna set mine and i'm gonna be taking my my La Mercier Translucent Powder. 
Okay. So now that I have both eyelids set, I'm gonna be taking, sorry, there's pupils everywhere. Um, I'm gonna be taking the, I'm gonna be taking this Milani um, eyeshadow palette. Yeah, I'm gonna take this Anastasia blending brush and I'm gonna take the Milani palette. I'm gonna take that light shade right there on the blending side. And I'm just gonna place that on the lid. Okay. And after I do that, I'm gonna take that brownish orangey shade right next to it. And I'm gonna start putting that on the crease. Okay, and then after I take that color, I'm gonna take my Alyssa Edwards uh, Intense Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and I'm gonna take that brown shade right here, which is Ho. And I'm going to place that right on top of that other shade. And this is kind of going to be a little bit similar to the look I just did on my live. But I am going to switch it up a little bit. And then... We're gonna take the Milani palette one more time. We're gonna take this shade on the same brush and then there and then blend it forward. For the fun part, I'm gonna be taking the elf the new elf glitters i have three colors right here i have the blue one which is ocean eyes which is this one and then i also have copper pop which is this one and then i also have dirty martini which is this gold greenish kind of look and i'm actually going to be using the copper one i kind of wanted to use the blue but no, I am gonna use the copper one, okay? So, we're just gonna take this and then place it on the lid. I'm just gonna place that on the lid and then I'm gonna take this brush and then dab it everywhere. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna take a little bit of the other color, the Dirty Martini, and I'm also gonna place this one on there. I'm gonna place this one like, ooh, this one, ooh, I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna place a little bit and then take my brush and blend it in. Okay, doesn't look bad. Okay, I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna take the really dark brown. I'm gonna take it on the same side. And I'm just gonna place that out here. Just dab it on there lightly. I just wanted to darken it up a little bit. I'm gonna also apply this Avon True Color Black Jet Black Liner. And then I'm gonna zoom you guys in really quick. That's what it looks like. Um, might look shittyish, 
but the lashes you just need the lashes and mascara and the whole face and you're gonna be snatched okay guys so i just primed my face with the new wet n wild prime focus primer serum it's a hydrating primer which is this one right here it's like a very light pinkish peaches peach ish color and i also use the maybelline master prime this one's the one to blur pores blur and minimize pores uh, i use these and yeah that's what i use to prime my face so yeah okay now i'm gonna take my little wet and wild color wheel and i don't really have anything to color correct but i'm still gonna color correct a little bit under my eyes because I do notice it does make a little bit of difference. So I'm gonna take that purple and place it right under my eyes. And then I'm gonna take that green and place it right there, right here. And you do wanna like blend it out that way you don't get like really harsh lines and you don't have like this really thick color sitting right here or else it's not gonna your concealer and your foundation are not gonna blend very well well first i'm gonna take the elf concealer in fair warm also i'm gonna use this elf hydra hd lifting concealer and this is in the shade fair and i'm just gonna use a little bit of that So I'm just going to take my e.l.f. blending sponge and I always do my makeup with a clean sponge. Um, I just feel it gives me a lot flawless, a better look and all. Now I'm going to take the other e.l.f. concealer in the shade medium peach. And I'm going to apply that right below that one. This one is a little bit darker. Which is why I use it. And then. Okay, and now I'm going to take my foundation. And shake it around. You always want to shake your foundation that way you don't get those little weird um, things on your face and I'm just gonna place this on the rest of my face and I'm gonna take the flat side of the sponge and then just blend that in that and i know i look crazy right now you might you guys might think i look crazy um but you guys will see okay so now i'm gonna take my contour stick and i'm gonna take my real techniques stippling brush and i'm gonna put the contour i'm gonna rub it on the brush instead of placing it straight to my skin okay put a good amount on there and then I'm going to start placing that where I didn't place any foundation and I'm also going to be blending it in with the foundation and the concealer that I just placed. And you always want to start off using a little bit just to make sure you don't place too much. Um, I always prefer to look super bronzed up so yeah that's just a personal preference same with this side um i don't really contour my nose and then i'm gonna go in back in with the sponge and you just want to go back and forth until you feel like you like the way everything is blended together and 
then we're almost to my favorite part. I just go in one more time with the brush and then I don't place anything else on it. I just use whatever is left and then just go all around, make sure everything is nicely blended. Okay. And then just blend under your eyes one last time. I'm gonna take a powder puff, which is these. Um, sometimes it comes with uh, certain powders. I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna take my translucent powder on a clean side. And then blend it out. Make sure that's nicely blended. And then set it. And the reason you want to use a powder puff, the powder puff helps you get um, fuller coverage and it helps it last a lot longer. And I am going to show you guys how I get my makeup to look velvet, literally velvet. And a lot of, um, a lot of the tricks on things that I know, I have learned some off of just watching YouTube and some I have just learned like on my own. The powder puff trick and the trick on how to um, make your foundation look like velvety. I learned from a YouTuber. Her name is Haruj. You guys should watch her if you guys are into makeup the way I am because she is very very smart and like super she keeps it very like easy to understand and everything and then I'm just gonna place powder right here I'm gonna take a brush and then I'm gonna take this brush right here it's just a flat brush but it's very like flexible I'm gonna just take this put some translucent powder on it and then set my face very lightly and then for my face I'm gonna be I mean for my contour I'm gonna take this um, Maybelline fit me powder and this is in the shade medium deep and oh I put a little bit too much you only want to take a little bit of this I also learned this trick from her rouge And then I'm just gonna dab it. I don't remember if she dabs it, but I always dab my contour in. Just like that. Okay guys, so for my lips, I just use the NYX um, lip liner. Suede lip liner in London, the shade London. And then I use the matte satin Milani liquid lipstick in lavish. And then on top of that, I place this right here, the LA Colors holographic lip gloss. And this is in Heavenly, the shade Heavenly. And now it's time for magic. So to set my face, I'm gonna take my NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Setting Spray. And I did apply some blush. I totally forgot to tell you guys. And then uh, this is the Always Shaky Blush by e.l.f. And I'm gonna take this and then spray my face. And then I'm gonna take the sponge I used and then I'm gonna spray um, the setting spray on the side that doesn't have anything. And then I'm gonna use this and then dab it 
lightly all over my face. So this is the result guys, this is pretty much the finished look. I did just put my hair back in a ponytail, you know. I said I wanted to keep it nice and simple for you guys, so I did just put it back in the ponytail. Um, this is a fake pony. Um, if you guys want a video on how I did the pony, just let me know. Um, I was going to record it, but I just want to, I want to upload little videos by little, okay? You know, I don't want to rush everything, but even though I kind of do want to, but I don't, I kind of wish I didn't. But anyways, um, this is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys all enjoy it. I know my ponytail looks kind of stupid because of the thing that's in here, but I need to figure out a way on how to, like, make it flatter so it could, like, be a little bit lower like that. I need it to be like that okay there we go i got it so yeah this is a 26 inch pony off of amazon if you guys would like to see a tutorial on this hairstyle just let me know but yeah guys this is the finished look i kind of want to turn on my other little light just so you guys can kind of see everything um, okay so this is the result, you guys, uh, the finished look for, <laughs> so this is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was, like, easy to understand what I was doing, and, like, easy to see what i was doing um like i said i wanted to keep it nice and simple simple for you guys especially because i know a lot of you guys are beginners and um i'm not like that i'm not at my best yet but you know i know i'm not horrible um but yeah i hope you guys really enjoy this video um give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and don't forget to share with your friends your family your best friend your homegirls anybody okay just don't forget to share you know because we all need some tips but yeah guys um i didn't i don't do my eyebrows much anymore i used to but right now that they're full i just decided to just leave them like that and just pop on some gel and i did use just aloe vera gel um i use this on my brows all the time it just gives me like a soft hold which i like you know but yeah it keeps my eyebrows like this all day long so yeah and yeah guys um i'm gonna try and zoom you guys in a little bit more just so you guys could see but i don't know how it's gonna look okay so don't judge I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I feel like this is definitely a look for Valentine's Day. Like, but yeah, guys. <laughs>